Let us start with the session two of the chapter. Is matter around us pure? We already discussed about the pure substances, which are categorized into elements and compounds. Now we are going to in detail of compounds and mixture. Let us discuss the compounds. What are compounds? Types of compounds. Compounds are categorized into two types: inorganic compounds and organic compounds. The word meaning inorganic, the compounds which are obtained from non-living sources. Which are the non-living sources such as raw minerals, etc. So, for example, NaCl, common salt, carbon dioxide, ammonia, all these are inorganic compounds uh, as they are obtaining from the non-living resources. So, these are inorganic compounds. Next is organic. The word meaning organic is the which is which are obtained from living beings, living organisms, such as. Plants and animals. For example, methane, ethanol, alcohols, all alcohols, ethane, sugar, etc. These are the examples for the uh, organic compounds. Now let us discuss the characteristics of compounds. What are the characteristics? So a pure compound, how it is made up of? It is made up of two or more elements, which is chemically combined in the in a fixed ratio by mass. So what about their properties? So they are they are uh, not at all showing a particular property. They are having a completely different property uh, compared to the elements, the uh, constituents, particles of that particular compound. So a pure compound is an homogeneous in nature. Homogeneous means it is uniform, uh, uniformly distributed throughout. It is formed as a result of chemical reaction between the two constituent elements. So, as a result of the con uh, chemical reaction between the two constituent elements, uh, this compound is formed and it is homogeneous in nature. Uh, let us go to the uh, discuss with the properties of the compounds. What about the properties of the compounds? Are they showing the uh, similar properties, same that of the uh, constituent elements no they are not at all showing the same property of that particular uh, elements which are which is formed of they are showing the different properties combined the elements which it, with which it is formed then constituents of an element cannot be separated mechanically physically we cannot separate the elements of a compound we can um, uh, uh, apply chemical uh, reactions and such as boiling evaporation Heating and this we can apply and separate the components of a compound. Otherwise, we cannot uh, mechanically separate the constituents of a compound. Now, formation of a compound involves energy changes. There may be uh, ex uh, exothermic reaction or uh, endothermic reaction. Exothermic means there may be heat uh, liberation during the formation of a compound, or endothermic means there may be heat absorption of the absorption happening while forming a compound. Now we will discuss about the mixtures. Then we will come to the difference between what are compounds and what are mixtures. Mixture means just we are mixing together uh, two compounds. Okay. So combination of two or more substances which will form a uh, that may be physically. Physically mixture mixing two substances together, we will get a mixture. And it is classified into two types: homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixtures are the mixtures which are uh, having uniform composition throughout. Heterogeneous mixture means uh, there is no uniform composition. We can identify the uh, 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 including elements or uh, including compound, including substances separately. So, uh, mixtures are the combinations of substances that are not bonded together and can be separated by any physical processes like uh, filtration, uh, evaporation, uh, etc. So let us uh, discuss first what are homogeneous mixture. So I discussed with you homogeneous mixtures are the mixtures which are having uh, uniform composition throughout. We cannot identify the substances in, uh, in the mixture. So completely uniform, they are completely uniform. Two or more substances they are the same phase. We cannot identify the different phase of that uh, particular mixture. For example, if you are dissolving salt in water or sugar in water, we are getting a uh, completely transparent solution. So, we cannot identify the different phases that in the uh, mixture, which are the dip two dip phases in the mixture. It is one, one of the uh, substances, so, uh, salt, other one is water. So, can we identify this? No, we cannot identify the uh, substances present in this mixture. It is uh, completely uh, uniformly spread throughout the solution. So, uh, are there properties same? 
Yes, they are having a particular property. They are uh, the same properties throughout the sample. Uh, example, salt water, solution of sodium chloride dissolved in water. Now, heterogeneous uh, mixture. Heterogeneous mixture, we, cannot, we can see the separately the substances contained in the mixture. In this type of mixture, we can distinguish all the components. For example, salad, we can uh, identify this visible the different components of the mixture from the uh, from the mixture it is easily identified. Fruit salad, etc. Milk and cereals, chickpeas, all these we can identify the different uh, uh, substances present in the mixture. Let us go through the uh, chemical example. Next slide. Yes. Let us start with the heterogeneous mixture. We are taking iron uh, filings and sulfur powder. We are mixing together iron filings and sulfur powder. So this is a heterogeneous mixture. Why this is an heterogeneous mixture? We can identify the separate substances from the mixture. That is iron powder I can uh, separately visible, which is separately visible, also sulfur powder. So this is a uh, heterogeneous mixture. So can we separate it physically? Yes, I can uh, separate by physically. How I can separate using a magnet? How magnet will attract the iron filings and the sulfur powder will remain in the uh, watch glass. So that is a physical method of separation of heterogeneous mixture. So the, do this uh, heterogeneous mixture uh, show the property of both the components? Yes. Here heterogeneous mixture shows the shows both the properties of the components that means it shows the properties of sulfur powder also and iron filings also when you are dissolving this heterogeneous mixture in a carbon disulfide solution the sulfur will dissolve will get dissolved in the carbon disulfide sulfide which is a good solvent and remaining iron filings in the bottom of the test tube hence we can separate after evaporating this carbon dioxide, it is a very volatile substance, carbon dioxide. So it will evaporate out and sulfur powder residue we will be getting separated. Iron filings it will be settling down in the bottom of the test tube. So we can uh, separate through physical means. When it is turning into a compound, if I am heating this mixture, heterogeneous mixture that is iron, sulfur, iron powder and uh, iron filings and sulfur powder, when you are heating in a packet dish, it get converted into a black uh, compound which is known as iron sulphide. Here, iron sulphide is a compound and it does not show the properties of both the constituents. It is a separate compound. And here, the iron sulphide loses its pro uh, uh, properties of constituent elements. So once we have to understand, uh, this mixture will show the properties of its constituent elements after the formation of the compound, that is iron sulphide, after heating, it does not show the constituent properties of its elements. Its property completely changes. So, let us discuss the difference between water mixture and compound. So, mixture, we can physically mix together, right? So, first of all, it is composed of two or more elements of compounds. They are mixing together, physically mixing. And here compound means what? They are made up of two or more elements but chemically combined together in a fixed ratio. So we cannot separate through any physical means. The second point is the composition of the constituents is not a fixed ratio. There is no uh, fixed ratio, fixed volume or fixed mass of the substances that is getting mixed up. But in the case of a compound, in order to form a compound there should be a particular chemical composition. And uh, third point, it shows the properties of all the constituents in the case of a mixture. If I am mixing sulfur powder and iron filings, sulfur shows its property, iron filings also show its property. Sulfur dissolves in carbon dioxide and at the same time iron filings are getting attracted towards the primary. But after the formation of the iron sulfide, what happens? It misses all the properties of the constituent elements and it shows the different properties uh, combined to the constituent elements. Fourth one, the components can be separated by any physical method, picking up, magnetic separation, filtration, all this we can apply for the uh, mixture case. And in the case of compounds, components cannot be separated by any physical means, it can be separated through chemical methods. Now we will, uh, we will watch one video session so that we will be more understanding about mixture and compound through experiment. Classification of matter as element compound and mixture. On the basis of chemical constitution, 
all the matter can be classified into three groups elements compounds and mixtures elements an element is a pure substance in which atoms of only one kind are present an element can neither be broken down into simpler substances nor be formed from two or more simpler substances by any known physical or chemical process example oxygen is an element each oxygen molecule consists of two atoms of oxygen both the atoms have identical number of protons and electrons there are about 114 elements known so far out of which 92 are naturally occurring and 80 percent of the elements are metals 11 elements exist in gaseous state at room temperature mercury a metal and bromine a non-metal are liquids at room temperature gallium and cesium have very low melting points elements can be classified into three types as metals non-metals and metalloids metals conduct heat and electricity copper aluminium are common examples non-metals are generally non-lustrous brittle poor conductors of heat and electricity sulfur phosphorus are common examples metalloids these elements have characteristics common to metals and non-metals silicon and germanium are common examples compounds a compound is a pure substance which is made up of two or more elements combined together in a definite ratio by weight compounds are always homogeneous when a mixture of iron filings and sulfur powder is heated a black compound known as iron sulfide FES is formed a compound cannot be separated into its components by physical methods the properties of a compound are entirely different from those of its constituent elements energy is usually either given out or absorbed during the preparation of a compound the composition of a compound is fixed the constituents are present in fixed proportion by weight a compound has a fixed melting point, boiling point, etc. A compound is a homogeneous substance. Constituents of a compound do not retain their original properties. Constituents of a compound may be separated only by chemical methods. Example, bring a magnet near to iron sulfide. It remains unaffected. The components of water can be separated by electrolysis. Mixtures A mixture is made up of two or more elements or compounds mechanically mixed together in any proportion such that its properties are that of its components. Types of mixtures a homogeneous mixture has a uniform composition throughout its mass. It has no visible boundaries of separation between the various constituents. Examples A mixture of sugar in water. A mixture of two miscible liquids. Unpolluted air, etc. A heterogeneous mixture does not have a uniform composition throughout its mass. It has visible boundaries of separation between the various constituents. Examples Mixture of sugar and sand Suspensions of solids in liquids, etc. They are usually heterogeneous. Components of a mixture retain their properties. Bring a magnet near to a mixture of iron and sulphur. Iron gets attracted. Properties of mixtures 
A mixture can be separated into its constituents by physical processes. A mixture shows the properties of all the constituents present in it. The composition of a mixture is variable. The constituents can be present in any proportion by weight. A mixture does not have a definite melting point or boiling point. A mixture is usually heterogeneous, except solutions which are homogeneous mixtures. Components of a mixture retain their properties. Constituents of a compound do not retain their original properties. Example, bring a magnet near to a mixture of iron and sulphur. Iron gets attracted. Iron can be separated from mixture of iron and sulphur by a magnet.